from home and today is day 20 Woo! we are almost done with the challenge but guess what after this challenge is done you think I'm gonna pack my video camera and make this a whole messy room again and go back to the old thing no not at all I'm committed to be on YouTube for you we are gonna move forward new workouts will come your way and I understand that right now as we are going through COVID-19 crisis that workouts with no equipment is what people really want because people just can't find them on Amazon or don't want to go to store shopping, so many factors. So I'm gonna start thinking about a couple workouts that we do with maybe two dumbbells that you likely already have and if you're creative you can make weights at home um, and keep it with that idea for, for now. So this has been a great experience, thank you guys for joining me and today I'm gonna do a fun one, slip and, si slip and slide sock workout you'll notice that my socks are elmo socks oh my gosh i love sesame street when i was a little kid yes so what was your favorite characters uh, when you were a kid tell me Alrighty. so i'm gonna have a fun workout here for you today we're gonna slide a bit work on our core work on our legs work on the triceps and the chest as we do a bit of push-ups today are you ready so subscribe if you haven't already call a friend have them do the workout with you, do Zoom, something. Just kind of like get it done together today. Alrighty, when you're done, don't forget to give me a comment and a like on this video. I really want to hear from you, okay? Alrighty, let's get it done. For the workout today, you will need a mat and you will need a chair. So make sure that you have that chair and at some point, we're going to be turning this chair around and we will use the back part of the chair as well. So make sure that your chair is against a wall. That's a very important aspect, so make sure that you have that ready. So for the warm-up, we're going to be doing some big ranges of motion. We want to make sure that we lift our arms, that we bring our bodies low, and that we extend legs as best as we can for today, okay? So let's get that going. Make sure that you face um, the edge of your mat. Your feet are just about two fists away from each other like that. Bend your knees slightly, lift your arms up, Take a deep breath in and then let your back bend just a little by allowing your head to just fall back. If that feels too much pressure, then don't come so far away. Okay. And then from here, release all the way down to the floor. Now with a big arm movement, open your arms up to the sky, touch the fingertips now, and same thing. Bend your knees just a little, lift your head back, Bend the back and then release. One more, inhale. Bend your knees slightly and go until it feels okay. You don't want this to be painful. And then slowly bring your hands towards the floor. Okay, find both hands towards the floor and step back. Now from here, hook your toes on the floor nice and tight, lift the knees up and lift the hips. And we come into a downwards dog. Try to bring your head between your elbows. And you have to have the sensation that you're pushing the floor away from you. Breathe in and come into a plank right here. Breathe out, drop your knees. Breathe in, point your toes. And then breathe out and drop your chest to the floor. Release, bring your hands a little closer to your ribs. Breathe in and lift the chest. And as you breathe out, tuck the toes in and come back into a downwards dog. So let's do this sequence a little bit faster. In the plank, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. One more time. There we go. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out good job so now that you're back into downwards dog let your heels drop to the floor a little one at a time and just make sure that you shift your hips from side to side without over exaggerating 
that hip wobble right now. Make sure that you're just doing necessary to move from one leg to the other. And here we go for another four, and three, and two, and one. Good, drop your knees to the floor, bring your hips back, keep your arms extended, take a deep breath. Now from here, we're going to be working not in blocks, I'm just gonna be exploring some ideas um, for your abdominals, and then we will come back to standing, working on squats, and then finally last uh, part of the session here today, I'm gonna get that chair, and we're gonna be mainly working on legs. So it's gonna be a big leg workout today. So make sure that you do have your sliding fun socks on. Okay, any socks will do, yeah. Doesn't have to be cute ones. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get started with our bodies laying down flat on the floor. Bring your hands on the side of your body and draw the navel in so that your lower back is touching the floor. Very good. Now lift your knees, lift your toes off the floor as well and tap. And tap the toes. And it's kind of like a bouncy movement. And yeah, draw the navel in. And breathe. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, another eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one. Now lift your head and point your fingers. Good. Keep looking right between your legs. And give me another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lay down, keep tapping. Four and five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you feel your quads warming up, don't you? I do. Good. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lift your arms away from you. Mm -hmm. Chin tucked in. Good. And give me another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, head down. And press the belly in. Now is the time where you feel like, I want to stop this. <laughs> Hang in there, just a couple more. Good, good. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Remember the 100 Pilates we done last Saturday? Well, let's go for it. Breathe in and out. Then extend your legs. Makes it harder. And lower. Ah. 20 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and release. Good job. Alrighty, that fired up your abdominals, your quads like crazy, didn't it? Okay, take a deep breath in. Alrighty, now lift your knees up and down. Touch just the toes on the floor. Keep the heels lifted. Good. Bring the knees just about hip height. You don't have to squeeze the knees here. That's not what we're after. We want them right here. So if you put your hand here, yeah, it'll stop them. Good. Alrighty. Good. Now with this in mind, lift your torso and release. So you're doing C crunches. Tuck your chin in. Keep your heel lifted. Simply touch the toes on the floor. Four more. Nice. Good. And hold. Bring your arms over your head and go again. Eight. Woohoo. <laughs> Seven. Six. Five. Ho oh, ho. Four. Now we have fire in our belly. Three. <laughs> and two. And one. And release. Take a breather. All right, good. Okay, 
Now, next job here, we're going to do the single leg extensions. That's a Pilates move as well. So lift your head, tuck your chin in, bring your knees up, bring your hands one in the middle, one on the outside. Extend, then switch. Breathe in, breathe out. Now flex your feet. Good. And lower that heel way down. So you're not pedaling, okay? We are pressing the wall away from us. Good. Give me another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold. Okay, arms over. Keep your heels firm on the floor. Tuck your chin in and lift and reach. Come back. Arms over. Breathe in and breathe out. Now continue doing this with your knees bent or from now on try to do this with your knees extended. It's definitely a lot more challenging. So you might want to go a little slower here, especially in that exact momentum right there when you get up. Good. And let your heels slide away from you right there. Yeah, and reach your hands as far as you can, so don't force the move. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> it's usually a squeezed breathe out right there the moment you lift. Good, and one more. And time. Beautiful, okay. Now, lay down again. From here, we lift up our knees again, lift up your face, tuck your chin in. Now we do double leg extensions. Point your hands forward and extend your legs forward and in. Forward and in. You might want to do this here. It's totally easier this way. Okay? Or if you lift your head, keep pointing the legs straight up at first, and then slowly you start coming into an angle. And see how much your lower back can handle of this today. If it feels too tight, painful, uncomfortable, then hey, don't force it. Practice and see where you're at today. And on a different occasion, you might come back to it and feel that you have actually improved. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go all the way. Four and three. Those are the hardest. And two and one. Good job. Okay, come up to see that. Open your legs wide, extend your arms, take a deep breath in and slice your hand on the side of your foot two times, reset and slice your hand towards the outer side of your foot two times, inhale and we go for one and two, inhale, exhale, good and breathe in. Nice. One more time on each side. And here we go. Good job. Okay, tuck your feet in. Let the soles of your feet join. Press them against each other. Drop the knees low to the floor. Lift your eye gaze and let your inner thigh be very extended right now. Yeah, you really need that stretch happening right now because our next part of the workout will take us to squats. And time. Very good. So come to standing, please, and make sure that you use the mat um, to do your squats right now. All right. So we have a couple different things going on in squats here. Squats will be wider today. Body weight, no dumbbells, um, but we'll be very repetitive. So bear with me. And the burn here is definitely... One that you are after today. What's going on? Mocha, excuse us. Yeah, so it's that very intense, deep muscle burn that you're looking into today, okay? So place your feet outwards. Your heels are very firm on the floor and soften your knees. Shoulders up, back and down and maintain your hands on your hips. Ready? 
we go for our first eight squats. Drop and lift. Drop and lift. So sit back without pushing your chest forward. That's not what we want. We want to sit back and down like we were sitting on a chair. Good. And here we go. Next squat. Hold, lift the heels, drop and up. Down, heel raise, drop and up. Here we go. Watch your balance right there because you are shifting your center of balance. So it could make you give the sensation that you are falling forward. So press the abdominals in as you lift the heels. Good. One more. Good. And right into it, squat pulses. Eight pulses, four rounds. Breathe in and go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. One more. Eight. Forgive me, two more. <sighs> six, seven, eight, last one, go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Good. That was your first round. Let's go one more. Okay. Ready, set, and go. One, without break between each of them, okay? Three, four, six, seven, and eight. Drop, heel lift. One, and lift. Two, good. Three, four, ah. five, <coughs> six, Two more. Seven. And eight. Squat pulses. Eight pulses, four times. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And up. And go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And up. Two more rounds. One. Press the belly in. Three. Yeah. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it burns so good. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Good job. Oh, let's come down to the floor again. And from here, we're gonna be doing some things on the mat, but then also right after that, we'll go for push-ups and jacks on the floor, sliding. So make sure you're ready to shift positioning here quickly. Okay, so lay down. <clears throat> Bring your knees up and your arms pointing up. Elbows drop to the side into 90 degrees. Ready, set, and go. There is a one, and a two, three, and four. So lift your head, tuck your chin in, give me another four, and three, and two, and one. Add your legs out and out. Open arms, extend legs. Very good. Good, give me here another four. And three, good. And two, and one. Beautiful, come up into push-up position. Now, make sure that your legs are free to move to the side. So I'm gonna bring my hands onto the mat here. If you need at some point, bring your knees down to the floor. You'll have to work a little bit more this way so that your knees can at some point find rest on the floor. Okay? All right, here we go. Knees up, and here we go. Push ups. Give me eight and seven. Again, if you need to bring those knees down, right here will do. Okay? Already three more. Oh, two, and one. Hold. 
hips back. Very good. Okay. Now let's get the work in to the lower part of your body. Open legs out and in. Out as you hold your plank. Out and in. Out. Option. Out one leg at a time. Okay? Out and in. Out and in. Two more. One. And two. Knees down. And breathe. Okay. Push-ups. Here we go. Do your push-ups with your knees on the floor or not. Either way, you shuffle yourself around in a way that you can protect your knees. Sounds good. That was two. Okay. Here is three. Four. Five. Ooh. Six. And seven. And eight. Good job. Release. Hips back. Ooh. Alrighty. Next part of the push-up, we're going to combine push-up and the sliders and the leg jacks. So here we go. First you give me a push-up and then a jack. Ready and go. There was one. Ooh. And two. Or you may do it this way. Push up knees down and the jacks knees up. That also works. Four more. Good. Last two. Here we go. And time. Good. Knees down. Release. Good job. Okay, we go one more round. Lay down. <sighs> Knees up. Hands up. Face lifted. Ready and go. Here's four. Three. And two. And one. Now here we go. Give me another eight. Seven with leg extensions. Six. And five, and four, and three, two, and one. Beautiful. Okay, push ups with jacks. Okay, eight push ups first. Alrighty, set. I'm gonna do my push ups knees down today. Yep. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, take a breather here. Already. Okay, jacks. Set up a plank. <coughs> and here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Good. Already. Eight push ups. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, <gasps> six, seven, and eight. Okay. Quick breather here. Now we combine. Push-ups with the jacks. Okay, ready, set, and go. There is a push-up and a jack. Push-up and a jack. Nice. Four more, and you're done with this one. Nice. Okay, last one. Ah, good. And time. All right. Good. Okay, let's move into using the chair now. Now that we're gonna use the chair, make sure that you're facing the chair this way. And again, I say, have the chair against a wall. It's important that it is stable. With this in mind, let's grab the edge of our chair 
and step back slightly. Your stomach in, press your hands firmly on the chair and close your legs slightly. Let's start sliding back with your right leg. So make sure also that your left leg is somewhat forward. So press it back and then the other one. Slide it back on the tiptoe. Mm -hmm. And keep your hands firmly on the chair. Okay, give me eight more like that. Eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Good. Now slide your legs slightly back and we do mountain climbers. 32. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep coming halfway through. I said 32, yes. <laughs> Good, eight more. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Good. Lift your eye gaze a bit. Right leg only. Slide back, in, kick. Slide back, in, kick. Go. There we go. Good. Give me another four. Three. Two. And one. Into the other side right away. Back. In and eight. Back. In and seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, good. What we just done, one more time. Alrighty, alternating sides. Let's go a little faster this time. Very good. Okay, give me another eight here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold. Take a deep breath, 32 mountain climbers. Ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, give me another 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, actually 2 more, ah, and time, good, breathe, okay, sliding back and kick backs, there we go, slide back, in, kick, slide back, in, kick, yeah, a little faster this time, There we go, four more. Beautiful. Okay, right into the other side. Switch and go. Nice. Good. Four more to go. And one.
one here and time excellent nice it is time now to turn the chair and you're gonna hold the back of your chair it's gonna be your hold on tool it's gonna aid your move in the sense of giving you much better range of motion if we have nothing to hold on to the next movement is called the Cossack squat and this one can be a little bit delicate because it's really big on knee support so let's set up your standing knee here well so that you do it right from the beginning okay now hold on to your chair right here and look at your left foot tilted to the side a bit so that when you slide out your knee is coming this way and not forward all right so to start we're gonna go little ones at first just slide out enough for you to like okay feel like where it's at what it looks like and if this is what you like throughout the entire exercise then stay with it you want a little bit more out of the exercise let's go a little lower one and two and three and press the floor and four yep give me four more good next one listen up slide and abduct go again slide little and then open up yeah little move short tiny ranges of motion are always your starting point let's do four more from here down and up down and up good good now hold it and pulse two three four five six seven eight another eight seven six five four three two and one good job okay we gotta do it the other side but i gotta turn my back to you huh all ready now make sure that you align your foot diagonally and remember the first four little ones one and two and three and then if you feel comfortable about it let's go more one and two and three good four seven and eight now lower slide lift abduct good little ones might be your job remember tiny ranges of motion are everybody's starting point good four more all the way and up good and one more very good okay lift and pulse one two three four five six seven eight and nine ten eleven twelve and four three two and one good job already oh. How you think about this one today okay I'm gonna move forward now with our last part of the workout today where you will again bring the chair back to where it used to be and I do not need this mat right here let's situate ourselves here on the chair so you need to make sure that your shoulders are up back and down and that you're holding on nice and tight towards the side of the chair bring your feet slightly forward and lift your toes and then let your hips go away from the chair as your arms are straight okay from here bend your elbows drop the hips and lift now watch that your elbows are moving backwards you don't want the elbows moving to the side they have to pump backwards the entire time there we go and also make sure that you are not just doing a butt movement here because after all we are working the arms 
So the elbows got to cooperate here. Very good. Give me another eight. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Have a seat. Good. Alrighty. Next part, again, bring your hips forward. As you drop your hips, extend your left leg forward and in. And same thing here with the left side. So you're bringing your heel sliding on the floor. Mm -hmm. There goes another four. And three. And two. And one. And sit. Release. So make sure that you give releases between each section so that we don't overload your shoulder right here the tip of your shoulder there either, okay? And then also gives a break on your wrists. Alrighty, let's go for another eight, other side. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, have a seat and open your legs out and in, out and in. Now, if the next part of the exercise is too overwhelming for you and you don't think that your hands, your elbows, your arms can sustain you, then keep working this range of motion right here. Sounds good? Okay, for everybody else, hover the hips, extend and go out and in, out and in. Good. Two more. And time. Good. Release. <sighs> Alrighty. Now, again, if the next step now still is complicated, if you can do what you just did, but the next step is a bit too scary, well, then don't do it. Just stay with stability right here, range of motion on the legs. All right. What I'm suggesting on the next one is like this. As you drop, open legs. Make sure the elbows are pumping behind. Oh yeah. Okay, four more. And last one. Good. Whew. That is enough. Alrighty, turn around and we're going to be doing mountain climbers with push-ups. Okay. Now, earlier we've done the mountain climbers right here, so let's get back into it right away. Alrighty, now, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. So the next exercise here, we will combine mountain climbers with triceps push-up. Let's do one at a time first. Earlier we already done the mountain climbers. Yep, so this is not unfamiliar. Good, now keep your legs back. Yeah, make sure they're not sliding too much. Now let's focus on a push-up right here. Good. So what I want you to do, I want you to combine eight mountain climbers with four push-ups. Sounds good? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. Give me four. And three. And two. And one, okay, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push-ups, four, and three, and two, and one. Ah, two more rounds, come on, one, two, three, four. Four push-ups, here we go, set, and go, one, two, three, and four. Last round. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah. Ooh, 
and give me your last four and three good and two one more and done nice that's it for today gosh can you believe it 20 days in the box so can't wait for tomorrow see you there bye